today we will uh, talk about organisms and population which is the first chapter on the unit ecology and environment now we all are familiar that a single organism cannot live alone there has to be an interaction maybe between organisms within the organisms different types same type or as well as with the in surroundings with the environment and this aspect where we deal with where we study about the interaction of organisms populations with the environment or within themselves is known as ecology it is the study of interaction among organisms between organisms and its physical environment so in this chapter we will learn we will try to learn about these interactions so let us start with it so first to start with it we have to understand the basic concepts of the organizational levels of ecology what are the different levels of ecology of these interactions <coughs> the different levels are at the individual as you can see here these are the individual level population biotic community ecosystem biome and then finally forms the biosphere biosphere which is a sum total of all the activities related with life that is biosphere which supports life on earth that is biosphere biosphere is in turn made up of different biomes biomes in turn made up of different ecosystems ecosystems in turn made up of different biotic communities and which are in turn made up of population and at the grassroots level we find the individual so let us try to understand each of these aspects now what is this individual individual organism means the living component of the environment at the individual level the single entity of life entity of life be it a microbe be it a bacteria be it a human being or a single plant a rose plant a grass plant or whatever you talk about any life on this earth single component that is the living component of the environment at the individual level that is the organism then the individuals of the same type of with the same features as also having the ability to breed among themselves to reproduce among themselves that consists of population they should be capable that group should be capable to produce fertile of springs which will further be able to propagate or continue its race its own type that is population there can be different population you all are familiar human population there can be population of tiger there can be population of elephants there can be population of paddy plants there can be population of coconut trees there can be Uh, population of a uh, grass plants a particular variety so population means sum total of the organisms of the same type same features that comes your biotic community biotic community means assemblage of the populations of different species in a specific geographical area like say like uh, different plants in a forest land okay in a forest area you have different plants different populations of different plants maybe there are many mango plants population of mango plants population of papaya plants population of grass plants population of pine trees population of say natum plants so different plants together they are interacting in a particular geographical area that constitutes a biotic community then 
inter ecosystem as already i mentioned little while ago what is ecology the same thing ecosystem will be that where this biotic that is living organisms are interacting with the non living factors non living factors they can be soil they can be water they can be air okay the, so these are the temperature these are the different abiotic factors and this interaction of the living organisms with these abiotic factors is known as the ecosystem the area where they are interacting we all exist in a specific ecosystem that bio bio constitutes the large unit with major vegetation types and fauna fauna means animals so bio it will be a large area large area which will be having different types of uh, biotic communities it will have different biotic communities and a specific type of fauna or the vegetation type associated with it that is a large vegetation type it is mainly dependent upon the climate of that region like say you have the desert biome where the conditions are very dry extreme heat very less rainfall or you have the uh, tropical rainforest where everything is optimum range so those are the different biomes then finally comes the biosphere where we get the sum of all ecosystems that is known as the biosphere where life exists on this earth okay now what are organisms and its environment furthermore now what we have to learn here is biome distribution with respect to annual temperature and precipitation now this temperature and precipitation these are abiotic conditions so living that is biotic uh, biotic factors or bio biotic organisms living organisms so to say they interact with this abiotic factors like temperature precipitation means rainfall and then accordingly you have a specific type of biome the different types of biomes are as listed here they are desert grassland coniferous temperate arctic and alpine tundra and tropical these are the different biomes that you find on earth so how are they distributed or how are they characterized so here you have a uh, graph where it is represented like say here this axis represents the mean annual temperature so the temperature from uh, very less that is minus 15 minus 10 minus 5 0 5 it's rising 10 15 20 25 30 and maybe higher up then the precipitation that is rainfall 50 centimeter so 100 150 200 so here more precipitation now the areas where temperature is very low precipitation is also very low the vegetation the biome that exists those are arctic and alpine tundra arctic and alpine tundra they refer to as then the areas where you see here the temperature is towards the higher side okay the range is from 5 to 20 degrees but with very very low precipitation those are the desert biomes then grassland grassland biomes they include of course higher range of temperature but at the same time precipitation is within the range of 150 coniferous forests they require a very uh, comparatively higher precipitation so the region which has higher precipitation as also the mean and temperature it ranges from which can go low as well as optimum say around 15 to 20 degrees temperate forests are higher temperature as well as higher range of little moderate range of uh, precipitation then furthermore tropical forests tropical forests you can see they are more towards the equator now of course one more thing here these regions you will be like uh, uh, the presence their presence is also related to the equatorial line of the earth polar regions towards the polar regions you will find this arctic alpine tundra as you move away from the pol poles you will find the coniferous forest as you move towards the equator you'll be temperate is and then finally the tropical forests are usually near about the equator 
tropical region of the earth so tropical forest as you can see the range is very uh, very limited range okay of temperature higher range of temperature as it is more toward near the equator where they get direct rays of the sun precipitation is also comparatively very high rainfall as such these are very rich forests rich with flora and fauna amazon forest you must have heard so these also comes under tropical forest our country also falls mostly under this tropical range so this is about the different biome distribution with respect to annual temperature and precipitation so next lecture we will be talking about the adaptations that the organisms take up uh, with reference or with respect to the different environment that they are existing whether it's desert or aquatic conditions or uh, moderate conditions saline conditions haline conditions all those we will be discussing in our next lecture thank you